Hey, what's up everybody? Our Boots Games here, and welcome back to my GTA 5 Let's Play. Last episode, we stole some chemical, chemical weapon or something, but... I don't know. This episode, I think... I don't think that mission is technically done, so... I gotta drive over here, and then it's probably done. Okay, so Trevor's crying. Awkward. Um, the intro to this episode is going to be pretty stupid. <laughs> it's just going to be me staring at a map. Uh, that's not really going to go too well with the way my intro is set up, but oh well. Wow. What happened to his ear? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to do it again. 21 minutes? I couldn't have gone much faster. What do I got? Uh, another Trevor mission? Where is Trevor's mission? All the way. Oh! Going back to Floyd's house. Cool. Um. Does Michael have anything? No, he doesn't. Franklin has one. But I think that one mission is actually uh, like an ongoing side mission. It's, uh, I have to look for spaceship parts. And actually, I looked up what that builds, and I might have to cheat to do that. And when I say cheat, I'm not going to watch like a video to find out exactly where everything is, but I will be looking at a map that shows where at least the general location of where they're all located but I got two miles to drive so I will see you at Floyd's house okay we're here apparently I can now buy uh, the minigun and ammunition it's probably extremely expensive but a funny way to greet your cousin you ain't my g-damn cousin Trevor I thought we was family Please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Can I come in? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? 
You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good? Huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you, I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. You made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob, talk to me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> Hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Oh, interesting lady. Uh, you probably go say hi. I would. Why not? Let's go get in the car. All right. Let's go have the time of our lives. Oh, I know exactly where to take you. Holy crap! That escalated quickly. Should I go like I could run in and get jump in the and ocean for a bit outside, or something or something's pool? Mm, no, I don't think she can wait. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got you got syrup? Yeah, syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but. But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof! Right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is, you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Here we are. What do you think? This is where Floyd is gonna meet us really? strip club? Oh, yeah. You can save cars here? <laughs> like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? <laughs> here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time. <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Where to meet your new partner? What? How come Trevor's just like killing everyone now? What the frick? Oh! Back at Michael's house? Oh yeah, um... Uh, Jimmy texted me and hey, said Lester, that he brought my car hey, back. Uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. 
You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. So there's my black car. Sweet. That was a weird mission. It was it was two cutscenes and I drove for like a mile. Um where's my red car? I spent money on that. What the heck? I'm going to switch to Trevor cuz this is probably going to be much faster. I wonder if I'm gonna get a uh, weekly income from this then sweet I'm drunk of course okay where do I go for the mission, uh, switch views. I go right outside the front door. If I can make it there, don't, don't trip. You look like you need a dance to unwind. No, I probably need to sober up to unwind. How do I get out of here? Oh my gosh, I can see the hallways now. Dang it. You want a special dance? No! I want to get out of here. Oh my gosh, he walked so slow. At this rate, it probably would have been faster to... No. It probably would have been faster to drive. And I can't even run in here. Great. Um, here's outside. Thank you. You can run now. Why do I have to go to the other side of this place? That's not it. What am I? I'm just walking into walls. Hello? Um. You know what? I, th I think I have to go somewhere in the strip club. Since I walk so slow in there, I'm just going to cut to when I finally find it. There we go. <coughs> hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one! one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. 
Big one. Twenty million. Unfortunately, I need a hundred fifty million to buy the golf club. Or what was it called? That said, <laughs> that sounds stupid. I'm gonna buy a twenty million dollar golf club. I don't know. Whatever it's called. Drive into the bank. <laughs> that doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas. Clap, Wait. Clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see oh. it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground. That's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alpha Street. We can get a view of the back from there. I want to greet this guy. Whatever. Where's Trevor at? Oh, I could get a blimp. Although it's not here right now. I have to call. Drive to the airfield. Okay. Two miles. I will see you there. of 200 million. You understand? It's called calling off flights. Listen, the next big thing is going to be potato. Um, look, dog, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Maybe we really are broke. Trevor. How are you doing? Well, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. Can I switch back to Michael and do you some more a stuff? Job before. Something I could help you with? No, I can't. I ain't even talked to Mike. Okay, so I misheard it in the cutscene. It was two hundred million, but still, what is I'm it? not gonna ain't be able obvious? to buy it. Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why do you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Who parked the helicopter over here? It wasn't me. I always have in the helipad. You're the one who Actually, I've never parked it. Or, I've never parked this helicopter here. I usually just ditch it because it respawns. Freaking no. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24 7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that's spying on innocent people. Getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them and once to get it done. You're going to find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael. 
it steering for me? It seems like it. Yeah, I think it is. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route. We'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's position. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! Well, I guess it's sort of controlling where I'm going, but... What you thinking? I'm thinking Whatever. I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time, and the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. How long do I have to follow them for? There it is. Is it? I'm pretty sure. They're doing construction down there, but it ain't a tunnel excavation. We'll keep looking. Oh. Oh. How near are we supposed to get? Now just hover here. Looks good, looks good. No hints at supporting structures for the vault walls. That should hold some weight. Steady now. Alright, I think I've got enough information to work with. You didn't move the camera. I wonder if I can go there just like on my own. 
I'm gonna try and explore that while I'm messing around. So, point of interest, about over there, I don't know. Take Franklin to his house. Find Wood Hill. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feel pretty good. We got Lester planted. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. And Willie? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. You know what, I met Amanda and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk. All right? All right, holla at me. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Okay. Mission pass. So, tunnel flight. What? Would you want me to fly through the tunnel? Huh. Oh, dang. Um. Well, I'm going to have to end it here. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do, and I will see you later. Bye.